Hi friends, welcome to Lost and Remote. You're watching another episode of Great Stays, where we cover amazing hotels, Airbnbs, campsites, and more. In this episode, join us as we venture west to the Grand Canyon to sleep under the stars at the beautiful Under Canvas Resort. Next, we'll grab our packs and head into the Grand Canyon National Park and cover all the must-do locations to do in a day trip. Please make sure to subscribe if you like this video. Every little bit helps to support us. So let's get to it. from home right canvas abode here in the desert. We're right outside of the Grand Canyon. We're at this place called Under Canvas and we have our own little tent situation. It's really cute so I want to show you. Come inside. This is where we can sit and have a little glass of wine, watch the stars at night. We definitely took advantage of it and then you have lots of wood over here for your wood burning fire which you will need. Uh, wood burning stove rather because you'll it gets pretty chilly at night and it's so cozy and then we have these little seats here to just kind of hang out if it's chilly we can hang in here we got a beautiful bed very comfortable lots of plush pillows we slept like babies and it's just the cutest thing i love the decor in here we have cow hides on the floor and here's our little wood burning stove that denton has stocked up with firewood to keep us warm. And they were so sweet, look at it. Happy honeymoon. And they gave us a free dessert, which was great. It was key lime pie and it was really good. <laughs> Food here has been really, really good. So breakfast was delicious. We got a burrito and with, with soy riso, which was awesome. And then dinner was really good too. We had a Southwestern uh, chicken salad which was great, and they had some really wonderful wine selections. I got the Merlot, and Denton, you got a beer, right? You get a local beer, and everything has been fantastic. We're about 30, 40 minutes outside Grand Canyon, which is perfect, so if you're thinking about doing under canvas, I definitely would recommend it. Sunday, second to last day of our honeymoon, and we've made it to the Grand Canyon. So we're at the South Rim exit, and we got here nice and early. There was pretty much no line whatsoever, and they're not selling their park passes, the yearly ones here um, at the park, which we wanted to get. So you have to get them online, just a heads up. But we're about to walk over to this point over here and see a beautiful view. to be brave today and we're doing the kebab trail and this one goes into the canyon we're not gonna do the whole thing because you have to get a permit and we're not that skilled of hikers so we're going to do part of it should take us about two to four hours to do it so we brought plenty of water three bottles lots of snacks so hopefully we don't um, die okay great let's go When mules pass, please follow the mule 
guide's instruction. So um, unfortunately, I actually have um, an ass with me the entire hike, a big pain in my ass, and that is Denton. So I'm not really sure what guidelines go along with that, but um, if we see other mules, we'll follow those. But um, yeah, I mean, he's gonna be a real pain in my ass the whole way down, so. Okay, great. <laughs> That's funny. No. I made it funny. Ashley's a really slow walker. I'm just gonna walk right off the cliff, right off and into like, the Grand Canyon. I you, be careful because people die and they're not looking. Safety first. Safety's boring. us like about 45 minutes or so, especially with my slow walking. It was really pretty. We had our lunch up here, snacks, and uh, yeah, it's a really nice view. It's a, it's a good hike. We'll see what going back up is like. So while we're sitting out here, I just want to remind you that my husband is hard of hearing, and so he often will create really wonderful scenarios out of things that I say. So I'm eating these delicious apples and caramel, and I told him that it reminds me of fall. And he said, Paul? Who's Paul? So I just want to say that these apples do remind me of my dear friend Paul. Every time I eat an apple, a bit of caramel, I just I think of Paul. Okay. I heard Paul. Getting a little jealous of Paul? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it feels like the Old West. It's really cool. made our way east to the El Tovar Hotel. We came in here to see if we could get a cup of coffee and just relax a little bit, and we found this stunning lobby. There's a great restaurant downstairs that we're gonna have dinner at later. They're not doing any reservations right now, so it's first come, first serve, so we're gonna show up a little early and hopefully eat there. The menu looks pretty good. But we're upstairs, and it's just gorgeous here. There's just this amazing southwestern architecture, beautiful paintings everywhere, lots of taxidermy. It's a really nice place to come and take a little break after your hike, maybe get a nice coffee, have some water, and sit and just take in the view. House was commissioned in 1904 by the Fred Harvey Company and designed by Mary Kotler, who also built the La Posada Hotel featured in our Route 66 Arizona episode. This structure was modeled after Hopi Pueblo dwellings and is meant to naturally blend into the surroundings of the canyon. The structure is now a shop with the third level reserved for the Hopi tribe members to still use. Feel the energy is really, it's really good in there. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, and we got some really great stuff, yeah. which we'll show you later. Because it's already wrapped up. Hopefully yeah. it doesn't break. Or break. <laughs> we'll find out. We're gonna go change and get ready for dinner at the El Tavar. Dining at the El Tavar dining room is a step back in time to the pioneer days of the 1900s. 
you'll sit among beautiful Native American artwork, elegant Scandinavian design, all with panoramic views of the canyon. We ordered the French onion soup, trout, and a bottle of the Grand Canyon Chardonnay. We just finished eating dinner at El Tovar. We had a bottle of wine and my God, the Grand, <laughs> the Grand Canyon's behind us. Ethan's had a lot of wine. No. Yes. I've had enough wine. There she is. That's awesome. It doesn't get any better than that. Uh, we've changed like three times a day. We went for a hike, then we went and walked around, and then we went and ate dinner at the... It was, it was fine dining, so it said to dress up. El Tovar, so, yeah, so... As you can see, we dressed accordingly. So we dressed up. I would also say um, <laughs> we're very Christmas-themed right now. Oh, well, yeah. Well, it's almost Christmas. It's the most. Oh, okay. Let's not sing that song. Now I'm going to be singing it for the rest of the day. But um, <laughs> in like tourist central of America, here we are, like dressed to the nines, <laughs> walking around like it ain't no thing. We both have vintage on right now. This is my grandfather's jacket. And I got this at a vintage store in Nashville. We're gonna walk around the Grand Canyon dressed to the nines. You Boop. know it. Our stay at the Under Canvas Resort and day tripping to the Grand Canyon was epic, full of adventure, and recharged our souls. To finish up our honeymoon journey, next we're headed to the Wild West to the old mining town of Jerome. You won't want to miss it. If you like this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.